My name is Catherine Yallett. I grew up in a place called Mount Barker, which is just outside of Adelaide. I studied law and international studies, um, but I always had a real passion to get into international development. I'd traveled to Africa when I was 18 and really felt um, a desire to kind of work on international policy. So after doing a couple of years in the law, I packed up um, all my life into a couple of suitcases and I moved to New York about six years ago. There were two reasons I'd say that I was really drawn to doing the Gotham program. One was professionally. Um, I actually found myself in my dream job really early into my career. Um, and I loved it, but there was this sense of what now, what, what next? I'd always felt called to work in international development, but now that I was there, I didn't really know how to wrestle through what doing this actually looked like um, from a Christian perspective and I felt like I didn't really have the tools um, and then spiritually I felt very dry. Um, I had been here, I had lots of friends by that point but I didn't really have um, a real community and I really felt like I was living out of a lot of fear but I couldn't really work out why and so I think I just felt this need to really have some concerted time um, to really work that through. Going into Gotham, I had all these expectations. I really wanted to grow um, in my faith. I definitely wanted to develop a community and I really wanted to have a better understanding of how faith and work really came together in my industry. Um, and I feel that Gotham definitely gave me all of that. But I think the big thing that Gotham gave me was right from the beginning, I had this experience where I felt that God said to me that the reason why I was serving him was because I felt that it was the best way to have a no regrets life. I wasn't actually serving him because I loved him. And unless I really understood the brokenness in my own heart and the power of his redeeming love in my own life, then I would never really be in a position to be able to evaluate the brokenness in my industry and his plans for redeeming international development. So I think it took me on this journey of first of all having to look at my heart, having to really come to grips with some of those issues um, that had kind of developed over a long time and then it kind of led me into looking at now what does this look like, looking at the, the lens of, of, of work. And then with my work I think understanding God's sovereignty over everything and that because um, sin has affected everything, it's, it's also affected all industries, but because of Christ's redeeming love, it actually, all industries can also be redeemed. And so it freed me in this way that I no longer had to have my identity placed in work. I knew that um, you know, my, my industry was never going to be entirely redeemed until Christ returned. But at the same time, it gave me this incredible vision um, of being able to reimagine what my work would look like redeemed and how I could be a part of that. I think that over the course of your life, um, you know, you're exposed to a lot of different things, whether it be through the church that you grew up to within, um, whether it be your education, your friends, and you develop this real outlook on life. And it's everything from how you view God to how you view church community to how you view your work. And there's not that many opportunities where you actually get to take a step back and reassess that and say, hang on, how does this actually align with the gospel? Um, and and I think that it gives you this incredible time to really be able to really relay that foundation and ground it and ground your work um, and ground your community and ground um, your own walk with God back into the gospel. I feel like what I learned in Gotham, I see being played out in my heart and in my community and in my world, I think on a daily basis.